Hello, I'm Jagra Tugede, again a follow-up of National Medical Stores. For the past two weeks, you've seen our shows where we have uh, angrily expressed our feelings about the shortage of drugs in, in hospitals. Hospital. And today, we have Dan Kimosho, who is the uh, public relations officer. Sometimes they call them spin doctors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they meander around. They are not giving you clear answers. Yeah. And uh, the gentleman who is in charge of cover rolling. Kenneth Bareche. Kenneth Bareche. They are here to answer the questions about the shortage of drugs, especially in uh, uh, this part of the country. And uh, 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 apart from these two, what is the condition in the hospital, Zemugendamu? When you go into a hospital, just hang out the Panado is ready to available. I had gone there. Maybe sometime I take patient there. Mm -hmm. But actually, what you find in the hospital, I agree there are some drugs. Not Panado at all. Mm -hmm. Drugs are there. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, the doctor can prescribe about six, seven types of drugs. And they are all there. But you go in the pharmacy, you can't get five. Out of six. Yes. I had a patient who is a diabetic and had a high blood pressure. I went in the pharmacy, out of seven, six items of drugs, I only got three. Where in your own? Okay, you have uh, an experience. Yeah, well, what I have to say is that um, I was in Bling Hospital recently. Mm. I had my niece, she has wounds on uh, her throat. Yeah. But uh, you can imagine the doctor used to walk in and out and there were so many patients on the line, then at the end of it, what he told us, I cannot manage this situation. You have to look for another doctor who is above me. And there's no other doctor I know in for both of and treat throats apart from him. Right. Uh, he wrote for us about uh, five drugs. Mm. We only managed to get two. That was uh, Panado and Diclofenac. Right. Mm. Why Mama Kit is readily available? Managing director came here and said, if someone charges you, go to the nearest police, police station. station. Does Buhinga Hospital have Mama Kit right now? If we went there. Affirmative, they do have Mama Kits. Mm. More than what they can consume oh, yes. even in one year. Do so, the people get it at a price or do they receive it for free? It's a cost-free item. Right. So how do you Entitled explain? every Ugandan. Dan, we are obviously blaming uh, National Medical Stores. I'm trying to look at so come and say yes. Yes, um, I'm a midwife from Buhinga. Yes. Referral Hospital. Mm. And we are the very people who are supplying them these mama kits. Mm. So I'm explaining a mama kit here. Uh, uh, because is some a, of us don't know it. Uh, yeah, this is a mama kit from NMS, mm -hmm. National Medical Stores. Mm -hmm. It contains soap for the baby. It contains leather breads and the, these small threads you are seeing for tying the coat. After, and okay. Uh -huh. Go on. When we are delivering. Um, it contains cotton. This is the cotton we will be put in. Yeah. It contains two small gauze. Mm -hmm. It contains Cavera Macintosh mm. for the mother. Mm. When she's delivering, we put this one. Yes. Then it contains another small Macintosh for the baby. Okay. Okay. Then it contains three pairs of surgical gloves, which we use to put on. Then we have the immunization card. Yes. After the delivery, we give the, the mother is supposed to take this card to the immunization unit and they immunize the baby. This is where they feel most of the information. Mm. Mm. So, so, sorry, Okuita uh -huh. you have the, the kid. The mother has come with the mama kid. You have it in your hospital. No. Why do you make these people pay? I've never seen anybody charging this mama kid. Because okay. it is indicated mama kid, government of Uganda, for public use only, not for sale. 
The problem is that the people we are talking to don't necessarily read those things. If yes. you sold it to them, because they don't even know whether it's free or not. When a mother comes in labor <laughs> and I'm going to deliver a mother, I have to give this mama kit because there is this Macintosh which she's going to use when I'm delivering. But you give that mama kit before she comes to, to your hospital. We give them when they come in labor suit. Okay. That is a number. Number three minibus. So get a book. Just now, that's what we deliver. Now, even you know, following up every after two months. I tell you one to know. Anya tunza mama kid. Kubanga, there's overwhelming evidence. So let's come to that point. 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 Let's if you're just joining us at home, I hold that moment. Please send us a, a text. And I want to go on record. We asked the senior pharmacist to come to this show and explain where the drugs go. And he refused and he has switched off his phone up to this time. Uh, Kenneth, yes. Kenneth, who is in charge of Kabaroli, NMS Kabaroli, and uh, Dan Kimosho, the PR of our national medical stores they are here to explain to us what happens where is the gap there uh, there are more medicines do they have panadol in stock that is so much that more when there's no scanner in a hospital they'll give you a panadol <laughs> <laughs> go to our facebook page and uh, tweet us at minibus uganda you can also send us a text 6565 we supply the hospitals with all the common medicines that are required to treat all different ailments that are that are in this country we we use quite a number of forecasts uh, while we are buying medicines first of all we talk with um, the hospitals themselves they give us procurement plans uh, which show what they will require throughout the year because once we don't get an order from a hospital then we won't supply them with medicines what we're trying to do about that is we are working with the Ministry of Health. If somebody doesn't make an order, they are going to give us an order which we basically will send them or probably will send them the previous order. Now, any medicine we, we buy as NMS, let's say ARVs, we look at the expiry date. We have a policy. We don't accept anything uh, that expires within 75%. Uh, if you have, for example, ARVs expiring in two years or three years' time, we should get it when it has at least one and a half years, okay? And again, we also give it out when it is not yet expired. Our policy says we will not give out anything if it has reached three months to the expiry date. Uh, I really, like I said, I can't put a finger on why there would be a shortage in a particular hospital. But if we work together with the hospital to understand their needs, which we are doing already, if they have a challenge, maybe their needs have changed, then we could also address that. But if they are making their orders on time, uh, in time with the delivery schedule with which we are supposed to supply them, and then they are taking good stock of what they have at any one time and what they also need so that we can send them that beforehand, then I think we will have a very good uh, supply. In a hospital, if it is a government hospital, you are not supposed to pay for medicine. You shouldn't be paying for the services there unless you are going to the private wing. Yes, boss. Quickly, 30 seconds, please. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Mm. 
dukoraho ebintu kumanya sakara mu bubwire mbe duko stowers ko kubakukira iminga ngo ebintu babine noha no kwa no go wahirwaro araho department ya medicine yonka araho oba medical kukora mu irwaro kudanza babarwire ngo na yongera na nagenda kusaba ibintu kandi mu irwaro barugenda na checking buri buri department ngo guno mubazo guhoyeraho guno guroho guno tuguroho guno rundi doctor wa kujanza banwe nabanza nagenda ko roleme bazi no kujya yongera janza babana nibwe faber na renga kusohora abantu ekikugamba amama kit nyowe ndi nawe 100% habo kuba already an aro vot hits esinya kula round aro program nebembe kwa ge kitongole ndo bakita bayla uganda Nikirenga muno kusomesa abantu ebikwata amama kit kandi nyo na mbere kuruko mu rwaro karambi elisente siri ebintu ebyana frustration zone ziriyo kandi abantu nabazitunga kandi bazegwende za karambi yinka kasese road research shows that 50% of the medicine that treats tb diarrhea and hiv is not readily available in the hospitals. the hospitals. The hospitals tell us national medical stores has not supplied us, does no. not even want. When we tell them, please give them HIV medicine, the they say that is a. Uh, Brian, is really available. Brian, Brian two, is two. <laughs> when, when, uh, and I see here, for example, uh, if you look at, uh, okay, I can't read some of these things, but for the example, when a hospital runs out of Sema Market, how long does it take you to? Why? Let me, first tell you, let me first tell you, yes. the other issue you commented about, about the ARVs, we shouldn't jump it. Mm. It's a serious issue. Yes. What I want to assure you, Brian, is that national medical stores, as we talk now, we are stuck with the ARVs. There are too many. Do you know what it means to be stuck? You are there, you don't have anywhere to put the drugs. So, which patient? But I want her. Ah, but after, but after, after anyone, sure anyone, after, hospital after, after in anyone, this country has after anyone ARVs. has viewed this show, yes. I want them to come up and say they have not got ARVs. Right. Because we have ARVs that can take us for two years. Right. So, as the whole country. As the whole country. Call this number in case, uh, you, one, you buy ARVs. Are ARVs free? Free and TB drugs. We have TB drugs to take us for over six months, even for the second line. Right. Call this number. If you don't zero eight zero zero one two 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 one, or call zero eight zero zero two thousand uh, one five. Ah, uh, but you get a better number to call. We want to jagara the number. Zero mana zero mana na zero zero. M E I V I I V I I V I M E over zero eight zero zero. <laughs> we have information that Bohinga Hospital does not have TB drugs. Now. Now. Yes. Yes. They not TB yes. drugs. Mm -hmm. to the HIV drugs are running out. When are you restocking? Please answer. And talk already about the x rays. HIV that are two already restocked actually last week. Mm -hmm. The road truck came to Bohinga. To Bohinga and mm -hmm. delivered ARVs. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you have already identified where the gaps are. One of them you've seen, there is actually medicine and medical supplies. Mm. But there seems to be the managers of these uh, supplies seem to be having a challenge. And she shocked me when she asked the doctor, who she knows yeah. is a specialist in the ENT, and, she sa and the guy says... Uh, we look for someone who is above him. See? And Brian, so that Brian, means Brian. that means if there is nobody specialist for those particular uh, requirements, drugs and supplies, to requisition them to NMS, mm. we are not going to dream that Uhinga needs ABC. Yeah. I want to give this clarification <laughs> about the gentleman who says that we should follow up and know when they want what. No, it can't be like that. Why don't you follow up? No. Why, why, why don't See, you increase that What we are mandate? doing, what we are doing. Is not, uh, it's not a miracle thing that it has no root. It is a constitutional mandate. And the constitutional mandate divides the responsibilities very clearly. Then One, obviously, wait, NMS... Wait, what um, I tell you, uh, what I tell you... That's all done, Dan. Because NMS the, is in trouble right now because the population is blaming you for yes, the shortage yet you of claim you do your Why job. don't you request no. for the, for the no. widening of your no. mandate? No. We cannot. 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 We don't want to expand our scope. You know why? Many other Ugandans are paid salaries 
to do the work of supervision mm. which of department is in charge i mean for which organization is that in charge of, of for requisition mm. it's dho mm -hmm. and the split tenant for this region for the hospital. hospitals yes for uh, what's that in the full? district uh, health hospital exactly district, yes. mm -hmm. that's what now if they don't do their work we cannot sit in Entebbe and dream unless if they bring a machine that can cause us to dream. We have a midwife here who says Mama Kit is given. Mm. Who pays for Mama Kit? Who makes you pay?